Hello YouTube friend, it's Timothy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today my wife and I are staycationing at Citadines Connect Georgetown, a cozy new hotel in the city center of Georgetown, Penang. The hotel faces Nordin Street with sites along Brickham Road and Jetty Lane. Before I go any further, let me give you the location coordinates. Key these coordinates into your GPS, Google Maps or Waze to be navigated to the front of the hotel. The hotel car park is on Pressgrave Street on the rear side. To reach the car park, key these coordinates. Now sit back, relax and let me take you on a virtual tour of Citadines Connect Georgetown, Penang. Our room is at the end of the hallway. There are rooms on both sides. The ones on the left face Nordin Street while the ones on the right face the central courtyard. Our room is number 119 on the left. It is a studio classic which is the only type with a full kitchenette. The room measures 333 square feet and comes with a king size bed. Now please come in and let me show you around. We have our luggage on the left while on the right side is the bathroom. There are some hangers on this side but no enclosed wardrobe. There's also a full length mirror for you to check yourself after dressing up. On this side is the kitchenette. It has a basin, a drip tray, an induction hob and a hood. So, guests can do some light cooking here. Over on this corner are the coffee and tea packets and the kettle. Let's open the cupboard to see what's inside. Ah, there are a few plates and nothing in here. On the left, I can see a few bowls and cutleries, a teapot and two teacups. Below the luggage area is some more cabinet space. Let's check it out. Bedroom slippers and laundry bags. And on this side is the room safe. On this side is the bathroom. And that's me in the mirror. Say hello to me. There are some toiletries at the basin, including toothpaste, toothbrush, shower cap, lotion, and soap. Inside the shower cubicle is the usual stuff, shower gel, shampoo, a handheld shower head and an overhead shower rose. The toilet is over here. The toilet roll and the handheld bidet spray are attached to the wall. In my opinion, it's not very ergonomic as you have to turn around to use it. I often wonder, do the people who design toilets in hotels ever use toilets? I would prefer the toilet roll and bidet spray to be easier to reach. Let's continue our tour of the room and on this side, we have a sitting area for two. And over here, there's a large writing desk and a king size bed. On the wall is a flat screen TV which I discovered later has an impressive number of channels. There's a table lamp over here which took me a little while to figure out how to turn on but at last I did. Our room is on the ground at the corner. It used to be a two-story pre-war terrace house that has been renovated and readapted. 
Hidden away on the writing desk is the hair dryer and torchlight. Let's look out the window. We can see the junction of Northern Street and Chetty Lane outside. Now let's go explore the rest of the hotel. There's a sitting area within the hallway. We are back at the lobby. There's a lounge area where guests can partake of their breakfast. I will show you the breakfast spread afterwards. Some of the tables have built-in PowerPoint so you can plug in your laptop to do your work at the lounge. They have a coffee maker here. You can ask the staff to make you a cup of freshly brewed coffee. Can you make me a coffee please? Uh, I, what sort of coffee do you have here? You have espresso? Ah. Americano? Americano? Yes. Okay. I think Americano will do. Then. Okay, alright. One cup? <laughs> One cup please. Okay, alright. Maybe come over here to see how you do it. Ah, it smells good, eh? you use yes. freshly freshly brewed coffee. Brewed coffee. The machine looks very new. Eh? Yes, three months old. Three months old, I yes. see. Is the hotel also three months old? Yes. <laughs> okay. Mmm, it smells so good. Thank you Maybe so like much. Ah, okay, yes, please. Let's sit somewhere. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you You're very much. Welcome. Thank you. So, we have here our old Americano. If you are meeting someone who is staying at Citadins Connect, most likely you will be meeting him here. Now let's go outside to see the hotel from the street. This is how it looks like from Northern Street. As you can see, it takes over a row of pre-war houses. Next, 
let's see the central courtyard. Here's the central courtyard of the hotel. For a moment, I thought this is going to be a hawker centre, but when I asked, I was told that a hawker centre would not be suitable as it would be too noisy for the guests. On the ground floor to our right is an arcade with shop outlets. It is called Nordin One. There is a lift that takes you to the facilities floor which is on level 3. There will also be guest room on this side which faces Bricken Road but they are not yet ready at the time of my visit. Now let's continue our tour to the facilities floor. Here we are at the facilities floor and that's where we find the swimming pool and the gym. The pool is just next to the central courtyard and the canopy partially shelters it. On one end of the pool is the jacuzzi which is surrounded by greenery. From the pool deck, I get a good view of Georgetown and its cityscape. Now let's go take a look at the gym. There are treadmills, dumbbells and other exercise equipment. On this side are the treadmills and exercise bikes. There's a full set of dumbbells over here. While on the wall, there are towels, exercise mat, and water dispenser. When exercising here, you have a good view of the central courtyard below. That evening, we went for a walk around the hotel. This is the view of the arcade along Bricking Road. As night falls, the lights came on at the shops along the road. And this is the view of Jetty Lane with the skyscrapers of Georgetown in the background. The lane has undergone gentrification and all the houses have now been restored. On this side, they are readapted as Citadines Connect. Let's walk along the hotel's 5 foot way, which is so pretty at night.
The next morning, I wake up early so that I can discover what's available for breakfast before the other guests come in. The lounge area was empty and as you can see, it was still dark outside. There's a computer terminal here for guests to check their meals and cash up on staff. The breakfast spread is already over here. I had the nasi lemak for breakfast afterwards. The portion is quite small, so I had two, and then I felt very full. But I love it. And there we have it, our staycation at Citadines Connect Georgetown, Penang. I want to thank the hotel for a most pleasant stay. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube will show it to more people. Subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell to be informed every time I put up a new video. Until we meet again, thanks for watching.